imagine you had the chance to visit those three wise men, Casper, Melchior, and, and Balthazar. You'd, you'd go into their house, and, and there'd be Casper in, in the midst of all the treasures of the world. You had the frankincense, the, the myrrh, and the gold. And you'd say, this is great. And Casper would say the same thing. He said, this is great, but there's something greater than gold. Let's find it. You'd go up the steps to the house, and there'd be Melchior in this library with all the secrets of the world, all the secrets of knowledge and wisdom. And you'd probably tell him, this is great. And he would say, you're right, this is great. There must be something greater than wisdom. Let's find it. And now you go up the stairs, and, and there's an open out there court, and there's Balthazar pointing out to the stars, and he sees this one star, and this night view you think is beautiful. Balthazar would say, you're right, this is beautiful, but there must be something greater than beauty. Let's find it. And we know what those three wise men did. They went in search of the star until they found the place where it stopped, and what did they do? They turned their eyes from beauty. They bowed their heads in adoration, and they freely gave up their gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Because that was their great epiphany. Suddenly it dawned on them. After all their searching, they had found it. They had found him. And they said, together, there is nothing greater than Christ. What do we look for? What do we value? We look for things every day. You turn on the TV, you're looking for something. You go to work, you're looking for something. Even in our families, there's something we're searching for. And is it Christ? And even if we've gotten off track and wandered far from Christ, today's a great day to get back. Even if we've been with him for years and sometimes things get dark or obscure. Again, today's a great day to start that journey again. There's nothing greater than Christ. Let's find him.